Well, good morning. Today we're in Luke chapter 2, verse 41 through 52, talking about when Jesus went to the temple as a young boy and how his parents left him there. <laughs> so, draw up up its kit and see you at the end. Hey guys, it's Polly and Luke. We read about uh, when Jesus was a boy. Yeah, he went with his family to Jerusalem for the Feast of the Passover. Oh, that was nice, like a family field trip. You could say that. After the feast, Jesus' family uh, left to go back to Nazareth. Mm -hmm. There was a big group of them. Wow, I bet they had a bit of a journey before them. Yeah, but after a while, Mary and Joseph realized that Jesus wasn't with them. Jesus had stayed in Jerusalem. <laughs> That's funny. They lost Jesus. Like, did they stop and ask people, excuse me, did you see the Savior of the world anywhere? <laughs> yup. But they went back to Jerusalem and found Jesus in the temple. He was listening and asking uh, some of the teachers there questions. He stayed because he was being obedient to the will of God the Father. Well, that makes sense. It sure does. Just like Jesus was obedient to the will of God the Father, so we should always seek to live in obedience to God as well. So, I was pondering. What was it like when Mary and Joseph realized they uh, lost Jesus? Huh? Let's check it out. Pshh. And now it's time for biblical reenactments with Polly's pals. Oh, hey, Mary. This has been a bit of a journey. Uh, glad we took a break. So, uh, how is Jesus doing? I don't know. I thought he was with you. Ah! Oh, no. We lost Jesus. Ah! We lost Jesus! Wait, wait, wait. I bet he's still back there in Jerusalem. We should go back there. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's a great idea. God gave us one job to do, and we lost Jesus already. And now it's time for Deep Thoughts with Blub Blub. Oh, yes. Luke, chapter 2, verse 48 to 49 says, Mary said to Jesus, Son, why have you done this to us? Look. Your father and I have sought you anxiously. And he said to them, Why did you seek me? Did you not know that I had to be about my father's business? Jesus knew that he had to be obedient to the will of the father. And so should we. If you seek to be obedient to God, the father, ah, you gonna be blessed. Guaranteed. I'm so happy that I know I am given strength so I can be obedient to God. Yeah, that makes me want to shriek with glee. Oh, I think I hurt my ears. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Jesus loves you. Bye, bye, bye. See you later. Well, now that we've wrapped up Christmas, we're diving into the life of Jesus. And we want to do this every year. Every year, we want to get in and talk about the life of Jesus. What did he do? This is our Savior, after all. We need to know more. And so we're focusing on this story of when uh, Mary and Joseph and their families went to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. And so they leave. <clears throat> they've had their time at the feast, they've offered their sacrifice, they leave, and they forget Jesus. This would not have been a like, how could they have done that? There would have been a lot of family, there would have been like an entourage of family. Maybe Jesus is back there, maybe he's up ahead of us. And so, what is amazing about this is not the fact that they lost Jesus. What's amazing is what happens with Jesus in chapter 2. As he was sitting there, it says in verse 47, we'll start in verse 47, chapter 2, and all who heard him, this is Jesus as he stayed behind, were astonished at his understanding and answers. So when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Look, your father and I have sought you so, have sought you anxiously. 
Here's Jesus' response. But he said to them, Why did you seek me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? But they did not understand the statement which he spoke to them. Jesus was being about the Father's business, the Heavenly Father, being right where the Father wanted Him to be, which was at this time at the temple, answering questions and asking questions. God was doing a work through this young, this young man who is our Savior, God in human flesh. And yet, Jesus was submissive to the will of His Heavenly Father. That's a good reminder to us as we seek the Lord daily, that we would be submitting to the will of the Father. Lord, what do you want me to do? Help me to be sensitive. Lord, please, please speak to me so I can do what you want me to do. It's difficult sometime, but again, Jesus lays the example that we can do it through his strength. So with that, let's pray. Oh, Lord, we love you. And we do ask God that you would give us the insight and foresight to walk according to your will, to be obedient to what you call us to do. Lord, thank you for oh, everything you've done for us on this earth, Jesus, and everything you're doing now as you prepare a kingdom for us, Lord. We love you. Pray all these things in your name, Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Bye.